Hello everybody, Minecraft Nudist here. And guess what? I am bringing you Pop Five! That's right. Pop Five! Um, yeah. I hope what I just sung actually sounded good, but in my head it sounds awesome, but just I hope it doesn't suck. Yeah, so guess what? It's enemy time. That's right. Okay, so start with the cell script out. And after that, set set enemy one HP equal to let's see here. Hmm forty. <laughs> okay, and once we have that, CLS Echo. So this is like when you uh click or actually select outside the village you can do that it'll say you were attacked by a goblin exclamation point and then let's see let's put a pause and then we'll put a null after that to make it invisible and then we're going to go to, uh we're going to say go uh, go to um fight goblin sounds reasonable and then we're going to make another cell script that is going to be fight goblin Okay, so now that we have all that, we're ready and start. CLS Echo You have HP. So this shows your HP health. But then Echo Gob Goblin has then we're going to say EN1HP. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to type echo for a space. And then now we're going to have the choice menu. Here, let me scroll up a little bit. Echo 1 attack echo 2 drink potion echo 3 run away <laughs> yes set input equal to 5 um and then set slash p input equals enter And then say if input equals one, go to. Then we're going to copy this three times. I'm going to say attack goblin go 
drink pot goblin and then go to oh no wait <laughs> run away which is uh, I believe right here you successfully ran away yeah now that we have that we're gonna get into the all-important attacking where this requires a lot of math so attack goblin CLS if this is where armor comes into if armor greater than or equals to five then go to attack goblin two so what this does um, is for armor if your armor equals five then you go to attack goblin two because there was this glitch where um it would minus a certain amount of it would deal a certain amount of damage so that if you had had five but it went to like regular attack goblin then you would actually gain health from it attacking you which doesn't make sense so then it increases it will increase the attack goblins I will increase the or it increases the attack goblins power so that um it doesn't do as much damage so set slash a e n one h p equals e n one h p so then minus set by what's going to be in these parentheses is power power plus web power and there you go you got some weapon powers against the ANP and stuff <clears throat> then if EN one HP less than or equals to or lack, as I like to call it, <laughs> zero go to killed goblin. shouldn't be a space there okay so now that we got that um we're gonna say set slash a and by the way set slash a what that does is it allows you to change certain variables that are already set so like um it can yeah so set slash a means that you can change a variable which is really neat um yeah, so <clears throat> HP equal to HP minus, and this is where the da where the monster does damage to you. Four minus percent armor percent. Okay, so now that we have that. Um, let's see here. If HP less than or equals to zero, go to death. Right there. There's a self script death. Oops. Um,. Then we're gonna go say go go to fight 
goblin. So it's going to go back up to here. Okay, so... <clears throat> now, this is where we're going to do the double thing. We're, um, we're supposed to do the armor. So then, copy that, and then paste it. I'm using control V and control C, which control C is copy and control V is paste. So now that we have that, we're going to increase this by a s s s 7. And we are going to remove this. Okay, so now that we have that, We are going to go to Drink Pot Goblin. And no, this is not, this does not mean you could smoke cot, pot, pot with a goblin. Okay? So all you potheads out there, no. No. Just no. If pot is less than one, go to the line of code that is in here. Echo. You don't have any potions. So what that does is if um, you have less than one potions, it's going to say that. Dot, dot, dot. Effect! <laughs> then we're going to put a pause with a null. And then we are going to put down, let's see here. Go to fight goblin <coughs> sorry my my microphone's being all flimsy okay so now that we have that set slash a HP equal to HP plus 50 so it adds 50 for the potions now I'm sure later or eventually we'll add like us like extra potions like different types of potions that um, can increase like uh, you know stuff like that that will can increase your HP more. So now let's get back to coding. Slash A pots equals pots minus one. And then go to fight. goblin and that's what we got today um i'm sure actually we can fit one more we can squeeze one more line in here and that is awesome it is the famous killed goblin cls echo you killed him. Echo, you gained seven EXP and six gold. 
And then we're gonna do some more fancy mancy stuff. Slash A EXP equals EXP plus seven. Set slash A gold equals variable gold plus six. And then pause with a null. And then go to out. Yeah. Yep, so this has been my tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Um and I would love it if you guys kept commenting and subscribing. That's really nice. It the fact that you want more motivates me. No motivation, no videos. Remember that. Okay? So, thank you very much, guys. I l l love you. And thank you for watching uh, how to make a batch RPG. Part 5. I will see you in part 6 where we will make the next enemy, otherwise known as enemy number 2. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.